Hey everyone, this is Budget Tech Dad here. Today, we'll do another video on Chia. First, I just want to thank everyone for the support, the subs, and the likes. It really motivates me to do more videos like this. And um, I really appreciate that. So now let's get into the video. I think we could all agree that NVMe SSDs are best for plotting at this point. But I think not everyone is willing to spend like just hundreds of dollars on SSDs to plot and farm Chia. Like this guy from Micro Center, who just probably just spent a couple of thousand on uh, SSDs. I think some people are still just want to try a little bit, so they're not trying to spend too much money on it. So the question is, can you mine Chia on a budget? For me, it's more like, can you mine Chia with whatever you have? Because I've been getting a lot of comments where people are asking, are uh, portable SSDs okay? I have uh, this portable SSD. Can I use it for plotting? And the answer is yes, but how you know how bad is it? That's the question, right? So I took two portable SSDs and tested it, plotted plotted with it, and uh, I have the results here for you. The results are kind of interesting, so let's take a look at it. All right, so what I tested was the Samsung T5 and the Sabrin Na Rocket Nano. Uh, one is SATA based, one is NVMe based. So this NVMe is twice as fast as SATA. I broken down this into phases. So what I did was still parallel three plots, but not staggering. Obviously, you can optimize more if you stagger it. But since I my original tests were just doing three straight parallel plots, it was easier to compare with the 970 Pro. What's interesting here is the T5 actually did the three plots in nine hours, while the Nano did it in 11.1. Um, but what I thought was happening is I think it was thermal throttling. Um, the reviews on this portable SSD was saying that think this gets pretty hot. So I did it a second time and then I tried to touch it. It was not hot to touch, but it was definitely uncomfortable to put my hand on it. So I think it was thermal throttling a lot. So that's something that you want to watch out for when you try to plot with a portable SSD. Um, but if I compare the T5 with the 970 Pro, the time is pretty good. Like. You know, nine hours for 7.6, it's not a big difference. So you could definitely just plot with a T5 and be okay from like a budget point of view. Like if you have a T5 laying around, I don't think you need to go out and buy an i70 Pro or an NVMe SSD just to get you started, right? Uh, the other thing I want to mention about portable SSD is um, TBW. Uh, there's no TBW rating for these things. So... You just got to be careful. I, th I think the T5 is an M SATA, like A50 Evo Samsung, uh, which has like 300 TBW or something. So that's just something that you got to watch out for, uh, not to wear that TBW down if you're doing too much uh, plotting. Since I was just plotting with whatever I had, I also had this other um, SSD on the side, and it was the A60 QVO from Samsung. It's their budget series. So it would have been interesting to see if, uh, how well it plotted. And the results is kind of interesting. So if we look at the results of the QVO here, it's pretty bad. It's like I I was pretty surprised by this twenty almost 21 hours plot time versus a T5, which is 9 hours. I mean, they both say the, the only difference is this is a QLC NAND versus a TLC NAND. But that leads me to say that like QLC NAND, not only is terrible for TBWs, but also speed of plotting. So it was very interesting to see that I plotted three parallels in uh, 21 hours. And that leads me to mention to you guys, like I know um, NVMe is, is the best for plotting, but you got to be careful with what um, MVMB you're getting. Um, specifically the NAND type, you don't want to be getting the one that's that's QLC based NAND. All right, an example of an NVMe QLC SSD would be this Micro Center branded um, SSD. Um, this one you got to be careful. They have two different series. One's platinum, one's premium. Uh, this platinum one is actually QLC. If you scroll down to the specs here, it's QLC here. And you can see that endurance is only 200 TBW. You're not going to get a whole lot of usage out of this for plotting. If you look at their premium brand here, you can see that it's 3,200 TBW. This is insane. Like 
that's so much more than the 200 that you're getting. So that's something that you got to be very careful when you're shopping for this. Another example is the Sabrent Q 2 terabyte NVMe. I think this one only has 260 TBW. Even though the speed says this is like really good speed, I'm a little doubting on the speed because of my um, A60 QVO test. It was just horrendous speed on plotting. So I'm very doubtful on QLC based SSD. You should never just, just totally, I think you should just totally avoid this thing. I know the price is very attractive here, but just, just don't. Um, I hope this helped you guys um, pick out a SSD for plotting uh, from a budget point of view. And uh, happy plotting, happy farming, and I'll see you next time.